Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord and today we're gonna be talking about the updates for Pokemon Brick Bronze. That is the updates that will hopefully soon be coming. We actually have a little bit more info on uh, when we can possibly see more information about the actual uh, eighth gym update very soon. Uh, so that's pretty cool too. And also, I'm gonna be going over your questions um, that you guys have had on Twitter regarding the new update. So um, yeah, it should be a pretty good video. Uh, but first guys, before we get into it, I would like to say if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like. And also, I am planning to do a Robux giveaway. It's very soon actually now, guys. We're in November. It means we've only got um, around about like three or four weeks left until I actually decide to do uh, the Robux giveaway. So, if that's something that you feel like you'd be interested in and you actually want to win some Robux or something like that, uh, feel free to just subscribe to the channel and just await the update video. That's pretty much all. All you have to do. Um, other than that, you can follow me on Twitter. The link or the, the my Twitter username should be on screen right now. Go and add it as a friend or go and follow it or whatever you do on that thing. And um, yeah, I'll be posting updates there uh, very shortly too. Now, around about a couple of hours ago, Lando actually made his first tweet in a while regarding Pokemon Brick Bronze. And um, it'll be on screen right now. And it says, Sorry for not posting more about our development on PBB lately. We're almost done building everything for the next gym. We'll post pics soon. Um, so that's very cool. Uh, of course, you know, with a new gym becomes like a new route uh, or two new routes and a new city. Or it may just be one route. I don't really know. But um, the fact that they've actually got them almost ready um, should be pretty cool. I'm assuming that they've got the town already done. And that, you know, one of the last things that they do is they finish off the gym before release. And then obviously, you know, they do the bugs, fixes and everything like that. Finds out where you can get out of the map and everything. Because they're like, Star-Lord, we don't want you glitching our game anymore. Um, but anyway, um, it's pretty cool that they've actually got this um, all ready to go, actually, to be honest. He said we'll post picks soon. In the past, I believe when he said soon or la when Lando's said soon... It's been around about like two weeks or something like that. So I would say in the next two weeks, you guys can definitely count on there being some sort of update for Pokemon Brick Bronze in terms of a screenshot or a little bit more information in terms of what the city will be called, what the route will have there, you know, something like that anyway. Either way, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Um, I would actually like to know what you guys' opinion on. Um, what do you think the next gym um, type will be? You know, we had like grass fire and everything like that. Uh, what do you think it's going to be in the 8th gym? A lot of people are saying psychic actually, which isn't a bad kind of idea, I guess. But then also, a lot of people saying Tess. They think that Tess is actually the gym leader for the 8th gym and it's going to be a full dragon type. Just because, you know, she uses dragon types, I guess. Um, so, I personally don't know. What's going to happen? I'm, I I have no ideas whatsoever. Um, but anyway, let, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go over the community questions that I saw um, actually within that tweet that Lando said. Uh, so Robosloft Gaming actually said, uh, bring it on, 8th gym, early Christmas present, which I really hope we do get it before Christmas. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, but then Mr. Zat actually replied with, don't be too confident. They said almost done with the buildings doesn't mean they're done with the codings. And then Robo was like, shh, don't jinx it. And then Mr. Zat was like, look, man, I also want the update as an early Christmas gift, but it's a fact. Um, well, personally, I think that um, with Pokemon Brick Bronze, you know, there's nothing much that they have to do in terms of coding. I mean, the people who code the game are very experienced anyway. Like, they're pretty good anyway. Um, I would say there's only minimal amounts of coding that actually goes into the new updates in terms of the like coding that they haven't done before most of the things in games are just kind of copy and paste anyway so you know um so you can bet that the new gym will have some kind of new um weird twist on it you know with uh, the gym beforehand um i what do we do in the gym beforehand i always forget 
Wait, what was what was the gym beforehand? Poor Deca wasn't a gym. So it was Frostvale, right? So Frostvale had that kind of uh, kind of like side scrolling, uh, fully black and white kind of look about it, and that was very unique. And you know, obviously that was new to code. So most of the gyms actually do require some coding, but other than that, most of the updates are pretty much just a copy and paste uh, of information, which is very very cool. Um, moving on to the next tweet I saw, uh, it was of King's uh, King S Game. And he said, uh, so will this be the end of the main story of PBB and events and other legend slash mythical reveals will happen after the story? Hype though, GG. Um, so some of that really didn't make sense. It could have been put together better. Um, but basically, King is asking, um, will this be the end of the story altogether? And, uh, you know, will all of the events and everything just be what we kind of go off now? Well, no, not necessarily. Because we actually have the Roria League, which is the Elite Four. And typically in Pokemon games, what would happen is um, the story would pretty much end after the Elite Four. And to be honest... The after game content was kind of pretty good anyway, but I would say the main story actually kind of stops after the Elite Four because after you beat the, the, the last person and you become the champion, something kind of crazy happens, uh, which kind of makes it so that uh, the end game content can be replayable and very fun to do. Uh, but Alex actually said after him, I think Lando should add, uh, do another Pokemon story game. They are really, really good. Uh, and King then replies with Pokemon Brick Bronze 2. I agree. Uh, personally, I, do, I wish they would actually do another Pokemon game after this, but I am pretty sure that they're not going to be touching Pokemon again at all after this. Unless they do some kind of thing where, you know, they want to um, create like an easy game and they've already got all the code for it and everything like that. Um, I genuinely feel like they probably won't be doing another Pokemon game after this one. Uh, but anyway, Pokemon Brick Bronze has still got a while left uh, to go anyway. Um... Moving on to the next tweet I saw, uh, it was from Supreme Noob, and uh, they said, Hopefully Move Tutor comes out soon. Honestly, I didn't even know this, but apparently, Weather uh, Synchro actually says, Move Tutor will come in Roria League, and uh, he actually quoted a tweet from Lando saying, Move Tutors are coming with the Roria League. I didn't even know that was a thing. I must have missed that, and I don't even know. So everyone who is awaiting the Move Tutor, I would say, uh, you've still got like a couple of months left until we actually get to see it. But still, you know, at least we got confirmation that it will be coming with the Roria League. That's pretty cool, right? So, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. And uh, we've only got two more tweets left. We've only got two more tweets left now. And uh, this one is from Kitty Cat or Kitty Plays. And uh, he or she, I'm going to assume a she. Sorry to assume genders. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, they say, hey, it's super understandable. It's great to hear things are almost ready. We still love your game. And even... Uh, and even if you wouldn't see this, thank you. So that was kind of cool that uh, a lot of people are very uh, supportive of them. Uh, even, you know, kind of taking their time on the updates and everything. Because, you know, these kind of updates do take a long time. And they have got their own personal lives. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of nice to see a tweet that was kind of like just very genuine and very nice towards Lando and the team. Uh, and then the last tweet comes from... Um, Pash... Uh, Pash... Il... Ian. Pash... Ilian. Pash... Ilian? I hope that's the correct way to say it. If it's not, I'm very sorry. But um, they tweet at Lando saying, Hey Lando, I just realized that there are no girl gym leaders. No big deal, but thought it might be a fun way to mix it up at the gym 8. Honestly, I never even knew that there was no female gym leaders at all. What? I didn't even know. I thought there was. And um, the fact that there isn't is really shady. I can almost guarantee you that one of the uh, Elite Four will definitely be female. But it will be kind of cool to see that the last gym leader is actually a, a female. Um, you know, like we said, it might even be test guys, you know. Um, but still, it was kind of cool that this person actually noticed it and said, you know, that'd be pretty cool if you added it in. Personally, I think it would too. So, you know, hopefully uh, they haven't picked who exactly is going to be the eighth gym leader yet. Um, but they probably have him um, but anyway guys i would actually really like to know um i would say do a top 10 list in the comment section below right now on what pokemon you think we will get in a new update um and also what you think the new gym type will be so kind of do like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of the pokemon that you really want in the update and then also underneath that uh, comment what type gym you think it's going to be um i 
I honestly thought that Frostvale City, uh, when it got announced, would be Dragon, but then it turned out that it wasn't. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah, maybe maybe it's going to be a Dragon type, but I don't know. Anyway, I really hope that it will be. But um, yeah, anyway, let me know what you say, what you think in the comment section below, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching today's update video about Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you didn't do it, like I said, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. And uh, yeah, have a very awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.